so next part of the discussion in covalent bond is that is covalent bond formation in hetero hetero atomic molecules covalent bond formation in hetero atomic molecules the best examples of covalent bond formation in hetero atomic in hetero atomic molecules is ch4 methane um, nh3 ammonia which contains one lone pair on the nitrogen and h2o which contains two lone pairs on the oxygen ch4 is methane ch4 is methane molecule hetero atomic it is hetero atomic because you are finding that it has different atoms in it it has carbon and hydrogen atom so it is methane molecule hetero atomic go for ammonia ammonia again uh, it is nh3 different atoms water h2o water polar covalent molecule again it is hetero atomic so if you take methane if you use the lewis electron dot structure method lewis electron dot dot structure method method for covalent bond formation for covalent bond formation so if you take methane here take carbon as a central atom and four hydrogens you align them in the four corners like this each hydrogen has one valence electron and each carbon has four valence electrons 1 2 3 and 4 so the each hydrogen will try to share one electron of carbon resulting in the formation of one bond pair same thing applies for the second hydrogen it will share its one electron with the valence electron of carbon third hydrogen fourth hydrogen we are finding that here each hydrogen is able to acquire duplet stability each hydrogen in methane in this methane each hydrogen has duplet stability and each oxygen has octet stability so that means here if you carefully analyze this uh structure of the methane molecule each bond pair will result in the formation of one covalent bond there are four hydrogens aligned at the four corners of the tetrahedron uh, with respect to carbon which is central atom four bond pairs are there so therefore the final structure goes like this first carbon hydrogen bond with one covalent bond second carbon hydrogen bond with second covalent bond third carbon hydrogen bond with the third hydrogen and fourth carbon hydrogen bond with fourth hydrogen you are finding that there are four covalent bonds which are formed in the methane molecule and this methane molecule therefore it results in the tetrahedral symmetry it is a tetrahedral molecule shape is tetrahedral it's a tetrahedral molecule similarly if you go for that is after methane if you go for ammonia that is you go for ammonia this is methane methane you go for ammonia if you go for ammonia ammonia is the central atom apply the lewis electron dot structure method if you apply the lewis electron dot structure method that is each hydrogen has one valence electron so that one valence electron i am highlighting here each nitrogen has five valence electrons that five valence electrons also i am highlighting here that is i am using crosses 1 2 3 4 and 5 so what you are noticing here is three hydrogens will try to share their with their valence electrons with the three valence electrons of nitrogen and they result in the formation of three bond pairs and one lone pair one pair of electron out of five valence electrons two electrons out of five valence electrons of nitrogen two valence electrons are not involved in the bond formation so these pair of electrons will result in the formation of non bonding pair of electrons those are called lone pair 
electrons. So therefore, finally, if you take the structure of ammonia, so ammonia structure looks almost like this. We have three nitrogen hydrogen bonds and one lone pair here, one lone pair. So this ammonia molecule right now it has three covalent bonds between nitrogen and hydrogen, three covalent bonds are there and one lone pair of electron is there. So if you take the structure of this ammonia molecule, you find that this is the structure and its shape of the molecule is pyramidal. So it has three nitrogen hydrogen bonds in the form of covalent bonds and one lone pair of electron on the central atom that is nitrogen. Similarly, if you go for the third molecule that is water molecule, here I have bit of space so I am going to finish up the third molecule also. If you take water H2O, it has two lone pairs over oxygen. So you take oxygen and hydrogen and hydrogen, each hydrogen has one valence electron. So the two hydrogens I am showing with their respective valence electrons and each oxygen is having six valence electrons. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five and six. So each hydrogen will try to, I mean, share with one electron of the oxygen. The first hydrogen will share its valence electron with the valence electron of oxygen. Second hydrogen will share its valence electron with the valence electron of oxygen. And you find that here, you find that here two bond pair of electrons are there between oxygen and hydrogen. Out of six valence electrons, oxygen is trying to share only two valence electrons with respect to two valence electrons of hydrogen. Therefore, it is giving two bond pairs and also two non-bonding pair of electron. That is two non-bonding pair of electrons. So therefore, here the each hydrogen in the water molecule is trying to acquire the duplet stability. But whereas the oxygen is trying to acquire octet stability because if you count the total number of electrons surrounding the oxygen in water molecule 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So oxygen is trying to acquire octet stability. That's why if you take the structure, further structure of water molecule, it almost looks like a V-shaped molecule resulting in the formation of oxygen-hydrogen bond and oxygen-hydrogen bond and uh, another pair of electron of oxygen two pairs of electrons of oxygen are not involved in the bond formation. So the molecule more or less it becomes angular and uh, they are acquiring duplet as well as octet stability. So here one, one thing what we have to understand here is if you take methane, ammonia and water molecule in methane the central atom carbon is undergoing octet stability and the adjacent atoms that is hydrogens are acquiring duplet stability. Similarly, if you go for ammonia molecule, the central atom nitrogen is trying to acquire the octet stability, but the adjacent atoms hydrogens are trying to acquire the duplet stability. If you go for water molecules, the central atom oxygen, the central atom oxygen is trying to acquire the octet stability which contains two bond pair electrons and two lone pair electrons. So two bond pair plus two lone pair of electrons results in total number of electrons which is equal to eight and that results in octet stability and rest of the two hydrogens in water molecule because they have only one bond between oxygen and hydrogen both the hydrogens in water molecule acquire the duplet stability. So in this way we are successful in understanding the covalent bond formation in both homo diatomic molecules and heteroatomic molecules.